Recall that the real numbers can be visualized as points on a line. And we call this the number line. You put zero in the middle, you decide where one is, and then you've defined the length one, and you can put two, three, four, and so on, any of the integers on the number line. And of course, fractions fit in between, and irrational numbers fit on the line too. Every real number has a place, a unique place, on the number line. Now recall complex numbers are numbers that can be expressed in the form a plus bi, where a and b, these coefficients, are real numbers, and i is the special number of the square root of negative one. How do we visualize complex numbers? We graph them on the plane. And we, the way we do it is we plot a plus bi as a, b. And let me show you some examples. For example, plot 3 plus 2i. a is 3, b is 2. So I would just plot 3, 2. So here's 3, 1, 2. That would be the point 3 plus 2i. And sometimes it's nice to draw a line connecting it to the origin. And of course, the origin uh, in the complex plane is still 0. Let's plot another point, negative 2. Negative 2 is a complex number, even though it's also a real number. It's negative 2 plus 0i. So the imaginary part of this number is 0. Let's plot this. Negative 2 plus 0i is negative 2, 0, right here. I'll just write negative 2. And I can also connect it to the origin. So it's important to note that numbers that are right on the horizontal axis are real numbers. And this is therefore called the real axis. Now, let's take a look at another example, 4i. This can be written in the form 0 plus for i. So the real part is 0. When we plot this, we plot it as 0, 4. And 0, 4 would be 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So this is 4i. And so just as the horizontal axis is the real axis, the vertical axis is the imaginary axis. So think about the horizontal axis. These, this is the number line, basically, exactly the same as what we had before. Only now we've got numbers above it and numbers below it, all of which are imaginary. None of these numbers are real. OK. One more example, 1 minus 3i. That would be plotted as 1, negative 3. So over 1, down 3. So this is 1 minus 3i. That's it. That's how we plot complex numbers. We call this the complex plane. Again, the horizontal axis is the real axis. The vertical axis is the imaginary axis.